on TikTok. Y'all was geeking over this. My skin is eating y'all hoes up right now. I know y'all see it. So if you're on the go, work from home, lazy, just like me, then make sure y'all try out these recipes and tell me how you like them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm not sure if you guys can hear me right now. My apartment building is like cutting the grass or blowing the leaves off the ground child and it's loud. But if you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Um, turn your push notifications on so you don't miss a video from me. I upload Sundays and Wednesdays at noon. And if you are returning, I love you so much. I really just want to show gratitude and thanks to everyone who like really be so telling me because y'all be DMing me on Instagram, commenting in the comment section, and I just love y'all so, so much. So, as you can see by the title or the intro, we are doing a what I eat in a day. I'm trying to get right and get tight and just really jump into my healthy journey. So, I've been working out, I've been meditating and stretching daily, and I've been trying to cook more. This noise is blowing me, but I've been trying to cook more, eat out less, and I just want to share all of the things that I've been enjoying eating with you guys, in case you're wondering. My skin is thriving, thank you very much, and that is coming from a lot of the things that I drink. So, if you watch my morning routine, and if you watch my vlog where I went to Trader Joe's and I showed you guys a haul, I've been drinking probiotics, kombuchas, green tea, ginger, and probiotic tea. I've been taking lemon shots once a day, and <laughs> I just want to take a moment because the skin is thriving. I'm eating more fruits and vegetables, and I just prepared my breakfast with you guys. I'm probably going to insert the clips. I made me a little avocado. Avocado. I made me a little avocado mash. I seasoned it up really well. It tastes so good by itself. You can eat that with some chips, some tortilla chips. Boom, chef's kiss. It tastes great. I fried me an egg and I um I toasted my bagel. This is a thin bagel because you know bread is carbs. I'm not trying to do I'm not trying to go too crazy with the carbs. I'm only trying to eat one carb a day, but that may be hard because I don't want my bread to go bad. So I gotta eat my bread, but yes. I have been substituting meats in my breakfasts from for a uh, fruit. So usually I would have put, you know, some bacon on this or the chicken sausage on the side, but instead of eating meats in the morning, I'm trying to eat more veggies. Um, I also added sriracha to this sandwich, so let's see what it tastes like because they had a regular sriracha in the store, and I was pretty upset. Mm-hmm. Oh, this tastes good. Oh, this tastes good. This sriracha kind of spicier than normal, but I like spice. That's buzzing. I ain't gonna come to you. That is the best thing. Usually, I like my eggs to be runny, but... I ain't feel like being messy. Fruit just do something to me, so I always have been in love with fruit, right? But when I went to Cancun with my boyfriend for my birthday like two years ago, we had fruit plates every single morning with our breakfast because that's what they offered. And the fruit was so fresh and they gave us the different kind of fruits and I was eating on a normal like papaya and dragon fruit and stuff like that. And I told myself, I'm going to start making fruit plates for myself. And I watch this girl on YouTube. I love her. Her name is Lena Lifts. She does like fitness and health on her channel. And her mom used to make food plates for her every day. And she's trying to like continue the um, tradition and make them herself. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat my breakfast. I'm going to come back to you guys when it's time to eat lunch. And just in case... You don't like avocado toast, anything like that. Or in case you don't like something that I make this day, I'm also going to film a part two tomorrow just to show you guys, you know, different um options. If you don't like the first thing I made. So, yeah. See you in like 
two hours. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am back, and it is definitely past lunchtime. So after I ate my breakfast, I had a coffee, and I feel like that really filled me up. And then I had meetings, so I didn't even have an opportunity to step into my kitchen and get away from the computer. But I just made my lunch. I'm basically trying the infamous salmon rice bowl that everybody and their mama was trying on tiktok i wanted it to look pretty i tried my best to make it pretty also don't have all the correct ingredients i think i was supposed to add rice vinegar or something like that i'm supposed to have like sesame seeds girl i don't know but i worked with literally what i had let's see what did i do i seasoned my salmon with some let's see i used garlic powder onion powder slap your mama and i used some um some lemon pepper seasoning i seared it on the stove top basted it with a little lemon juice and butter and then i just got my rice i got my seaweed strips i know you're supposed to like mush it but uh food is very i eat with my eyes feel me so i don't think i'm gonna do all that <laughs> And if that's why it ended up not tasting correctly, because I ain't mush it all up, then that's my fault. But I'm about to prepare. <gasps> Fuck me, I didn't take a picture first. Shit. <laughs> I didn't take a picture. Anyways, I was craving salmon, so I was like, let me do salmon, but I want to do something different. And I'm trying to be bougie and eat it with these damn chopsticks right now. Girl, this is a bit much. I also left the um skin on my salmon. And I don't usually do that. I don't like the skin. But this little seaweed strip is not um thick enough. For all the food that I'm trying to put on it. So let me calm down. All right. This is what my little roll looks like, y'all. The rice under there, the salmon on there, and the avocado was on top. Let's see. Are these supposed to be crunchy? Okay. In terms of flavor, it's busting because I feel like that's my salmon, though. But I feel like this is this is what the hype was about. This is very much so regular. Like <laughs> y'all was geeked over this. Like for the girlies that was doing it nonstop on TikTok, y'all was geeking over this. Oh, it is. It is kind of good though. I see me on my lip. My skin is eating y'all hoes up right now. I know y'all see it. <laughs> you see me. Alright, I ain't gonna cop you. This is kind of good though. So hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. I might have spoke too soon. I'm just hungry. I don't know. But yeah, this is lunch, you guys. Now let me tell you guys a tip. When it comes to lunch, make double the portion. Don't eat all the portion at once. Save some for later. If you are anything like me and you work from home, sometimes you have meetings, sometimes you're always on the go, sometimes if you're just busy or too lazy to cook and you want something that's already pre-made for you but tastes really, really good, girl, make twice the food and save some for the next day. Literally meal prep, girl. But okay, guys, I don't want to eat in y'all face too much. I'm going to go enjoy this. And finish watching Love is Blind. Because right now, Bartise is getting on my nerves. Why would he ever do Nancy like that? Or oh, I don't like Cole. I don't like nobody on this show for real, for real. Y'all blowing me. I don't even think Love is Blind. Because I need to look at my man and immediately get wet. But anyways, that's another conversation for another time. I'm going to see y'all for dinner. So I'm not going to catch you. This is a very realistic what I eat in a day. And I'm really doing two days for y'all. Last night, I got lazy. And I ordered a salad from Sweet Greens. <laughs> I did not feel like cooking dinner. Y'all. Like, I just not, I just did not feel like doing it. 
don't know what happened. I was doing real good throughout the day. And then I realized I didn't eat many greens. So I was like, I need a salad. So now it's the next day. I just made my breakfast. I don't know why. It might be because I'm on my cycle, but I had a crazy sweet tooth. So I was like, I'm going to make me some pancakes. And that's exactly what I did with a big side of fruit. It looks so good. Let's try. Mmm. All right, pancakes are super easy to do, right? Easiest thing ever. But... I used to use Aunt Jemima, and ever since they changed the name, I was like, all right, I don't want to eat y'all no more. Like, I don't know. I just didn't feel the same about them. So, I had tried Jiffy's. Disgusting. It tastes like I was eating cornbread for breakfast, and I didn't like that. So, I got this new kind that I showed y'all throughout the video as I was making the pancakes. I got them from Harris Teeter, and these are fire. And I don't know if y'all knew, but if you like your food real high, you gotta put your, um, you gotta put your syrup in a microwave. It tastes so good. Mmm. Pancakes with fresh fruit always gonna do it for me each and every time. But yeah, whenever I have sweet soups in the morning, I either do pancakes, oatmeal, or cream of wheat. Those are my go-to's. And if you are trying to get thick... Them three right there gonna get you there. But yeah, anyways. And I don't even always add confection. What is it? Confection confectionery sugar? Confectionery sugar? Whatever it's called, powdered sugar. I don't usually add that. I just wanted my picture to look cute. But this tastes so good, they're nice and fluffy. I use almond milk. I usually never use milk in my packets. I always use water. Cause that's what the directions say. But I wanted them to be fluffy. And they came out pretty fluffy. This tastes really good. Hold on. It's probably because I ain't had pancakes in a while. But I'm going to go ahead and eat this. I got some meetings to attend to. So I got to go and do some work, y'all, for my 9 to 5. When I come back, we're going to make some lunch. I think I'm going to do a salad again just because I want greens incorporated into my system. Y'all know I'm about to go on my trip. I'm trying to eat. I don't know what I'm trying to do. I eat whatever I want, to be honest. But... I will try to incorporate greens in either my lunch or dinner. So stay tuned to see what we make. Because I just made this fat ass salad. First off, I don't know why I just made such a big salad. This salad could probably feed five people. What I like to do is repurpose and reuse the food that I made prior. So remember I made two pieces of salmon yesterday. I didn't want a salmon rice bowl. I did not want carbs after them pancakes girl so i decided to do a big salad i still wanted to add protein though so i got my salmon and i did sweets but basically everything i got on my plate is mixed greens cucumbers feta cheese i love feta cheese calamala calamata calamata olives parmesan crisp i like i kind of like these better than croutons because croutons be too big still get the like crunchy texture from the parmesan crisp boiled eggs and tomatoes and then my favorite dressing ever is the olive garden dressing you can get this from your local grocery store the salad is gonna hit let me say that i know that for sure but it's just like why would i ever make so much of it and salads you can't really eat day after day because your stuff gets soggy so <sighs> let me eat this during my meeting I will see you guys much later when it's time for dinner, if I even have an appetite at that point. Because I'm really tired. Pray for me, okay? Because today has been a day. Alright, you guys. So, it is dinner time. What I really wanted was some pepper steak and rice. But I didn't have no gravy packet. And I like to make things a very particular way every single time I make it. So, I decided let's make some steak fajitas. I'm excited about these because they look good. So basically what I did was I chopped up my veggies because I'm also going on a trip soon. So I'm trying to get rid of all of my groceries that's in my fridge. So I chopped up my green peppers, my onions, my tomatoes, and then I let them saute in what we like to call sweat down. And then I scooted them over to the side and I um, seared my steaks. They was already cut up. 
And then blended everything together, seasoned everything, put it on a tortilla with some cheese. And I am about to try it for the first time. I'm going to use some Taco Bell hot sauce. That's my favorite packet to get whenever I go to Taco Bell. And they're really hot, so I'm impatient because I'm hungry and I don't want to wait. That's what they look like. Really good. All the cheesy goodness. Mmm. It is hot. It is like so good. Mm. So if you're on the go, work from home, lazy, just like me, and you want some real tasty, real fast, then make sure y'all try out these recipes and tell me how you like them. The day is over. I'm about to eat, clean up, probably pour me a glass of wine. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you like this type of content, comment down below so I can film more videos for you in the future. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you like this video, just viewed it, commented, whatever you did. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, mamas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.